looking beautiful. Thank you. So we're now BFFs. We've been no. BFFs for ages. Before the show. Luckily, we've actually been friends for like three years now. Since the show, then we've become friends. So Love Island, gift her a curse. Gift? Yeah. 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 Oh, do you... Is there any regrets of going on the show? Do you feel like you've been kind of forced into this huge social media thing or has it been quite nice? Um, I feel like... I feel like dating life is a little bit harder. Yeah, dating is hard. From the show. Dating is really hard coming from a show because everyone sort of has heard of you or heard of the show, so it is quite hard sometimes. But I feel well, like... Why is it hard? What, what, what do people not want to get to know you then? Or is it more about the fame thing? Or I feel like people have got a preconception, don't they? They sort of they sort of think that you're set a certain way when you're not. So it can be quite hard, but I mean, the show is such a fun show. Like, it is so good. Like, we've had such amazing experience, experiences. Like, I'm so I'm happy I did it, just for the experience. Like, it's so nice. And we get to come to events like this, so it's worth it. And when you see the next series coming, the next series coming, is there any envy there? Like I feel like all that excitement, like when you're getting ready and you're getting sent all these bikinis and things and you know that you're going to go in there and just like... I just feel all their excitement, so I am very happy for all of them. Yeah. Also, I feel for the ones that have a bit of a hard time because it can go either really well or really, really bad. So. So what were your opinions on Amy this year? Because oh, she's come out and got all these TV gigs. So it actually ended up going in her favour in the end, yeah. didn't it? I think, she, yeah, I think she's so lovely. I think everyone this year um, were amazing. I think everyone, all the girls especially are so lovely. And I'm really happy for them. Do you know what? Since we went on the show, it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And now when you go on it as a, as a female as well, you come out to all these opportunities. And I think it's amazing. I think they should embrace it and just enjoy their... Yeah, and enjoy what's your opinion on the brand new one coming in January then? End of Jan? I know. I think that one's going to be crazy. I don't think it's going to be like a normal Love Island. I think this one's going to be like a really weird mix of people. But do you? I, yeah, I do. Because they've always had just a standard, like, pretty, pretty people. I think this year they'll put, like, some really different people in there. Is it going to be a winter long way to... version? So no, it's, it's not like... winter. Oh, it's it's going to be the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. South Africa. Oh, it's the same. So, yeah, it's in South Africa. So I think, because it's quite much further, I wonder if there won't be as many new people. And... I, yeah, I hope it's, like, different um, people from different places. Oh, it's a little like... bit similar to the survival of the fittest, is it not? Is it the same thing? Well, it's the same show, just in South Africa. <laughs> oh, the same thing. Do you think it's over Saturated though, do you think we needed another Love Island? Um, yeah, it's too much. How are we all going to live if we have it in the summer and the winter? You're going to have no time at all. But people love it, so why Do you not? worry about the new stars coming through that you know you're not completely forgotten about, but every year it's a new load of people? It means you, you know, it, does that affect you? Um, what in, we were what, like two years ago anyway, so it doesn't really yeah. change. I mean, the I mean, for us, it, we, we went on the show like three years ago, and for us, it's like we've kind of we've lived it all through it and we've enjoyed it, but we're doing separate things now with our career and we're, we're just enjoying what we've got now. So, I do feel like you, you enjoy it for the moment and then you do go on and do your own thing after, which is amazing. So, what is your own thing? What's career wise? What's going on? Do you want to answer that? <laughs> um, at the moment, I'm working, so I do a lot of beauty, so I'm working um, on my beauty at the moment. Also, I do social media influencing as well, which I've done for like three years, yeah. um, which is amazing Amazing because I actually do have a really loyal fan base because I've still got all my followers from, my, well, from like three years ago, haven't I? So it's actually really nice for them to see me and like see me grow and stuff. So I've just been doing, yeah, like a lot of beauty work. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping to open my own salon, which is what I'm like striving for this Amazing. year. Yeah. Book me in. Fingers crossed. And the, the, the winner this year, Amber, Greg, did you see that coming? Because we all saw Maura's face and that was awesome, wasn't it? I didn't think that was going to win it, but... I think Amber's such a nice person. I'm really happy she won. I think Greg as well is really funny. I think they got along really well. I think it was well deserved, um, if I'm being honest. And yeah, it's nice because all the all the couples in the final, they all get such great opportunities anyway. So you don't necessarily have to win it to be a winner. Are, are they deserved winners though? I think they are. I think it's all about like who you like on the show, and I think Amber was a big part of the show. And are they real? Like, are they going to stay together? I like to think so, but you never stages, know. So you just have to wait and see. There's some quotes I saw about you talking about Molly May. What's that about? Sorry, there's a lot. I saw something on the internet about you saying that Molly May wasn't real or something, or maybe you've been misquoted. Me? She was fake. Yeah, some people have said she's fake. Oh, no one, no. She was I've, my favourite character really? from the series. Yeah, that's really weird. I've not said anything like that, so that's quite odd that you've seen that. That wouldn't have been me. And I mean, do you think they're real, Tommy and Molly? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell because it is it's crazy when you go into Love Island, it's like a little bubble and then when you come out, a lot changes. So it is hard for any any sort of relationship when it's in the public eye for it to stay solid. So we I do wish them all the best and I do think they're all genuine and hopefully, hopefully they all do last. And just finally, love, what's going on? <laughs> 
No Any comment. gossip for me? I like to keep my relationship out of the... So you wouldn't put them on Insta or anything like that? No. I actually haven't done so far. But I feel like sometimes it's nice to keep things a little bit private at first. Yeah, over eBay. Isn't it? Anything? It's very early stages. So. Okay. Well, best of luck. Thank you. I hope I see you much more than this. Oh, so, yeah, thank have a nice night tonight. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Stuck in the school at home, though. <laughs> <No! laughs>